Good, after, good afternoon, buonasera. I let you guess about my accent. Uh, it's okay. Um, I am from Brussels. I live in Leipzig. I was born in Amsterdam. I'm Dutch and my accent is Amsterdam. So those of you who know dialects a little bit will recognize, but I'm not going to speak about it. I speak a few words on behalf of FPA, and I want to say basically two things. One is, I think that the Ordine de la Psicologia de Lombardia deserves uh, a great distinction and appreciation from the side of all of us in Europe. This is a fantastic initiative. Uh, we are very happy, we are very proud that this initiative was taken here and that you are now launching this house of psychology and the home of psychology. You will see we are not easy to go away because we feel at home. Um, that you have, have taken the initiative to create this and we really hope that this will be a success and it will last for very long. The second thing I would like to say is the following. In Europe, in each of the countries of Europe, uh, people are pretty well informed about the psychology of that particular country. But it is amazing to see how very little we know about neighboring countries, not to say about countries that neighbor the neighboring countries. So many of us uh, living in the Netherlands know very little about French, let it be Spanish psychology. We know, don't know the big names, we don't know the history, we don't know the institutions, etc. Even though we work together in EFPA. And in order to do something about this, because if psychology is international and if European psychology is European, something more must be done. Something must be done to go across the borders. We have here the flag of Europe, which is symbolizing the fact that we are doing things together and we are exchanging and we are working together for the common purpose. And this idea is something that FPA also tries to implement. We have launched the idea that has been picked up very well by member associations of a European semester. It's an analogy with what happens in the European Union. What happens? One association of psychology in a particular country becomes the face of Europe during half a year. And what they do is they show the main figures, the history, the institutions, the achievements, uh, the inventions, of that country to all the colleagues from everywhere. They invite people to come over. They have meetings and so on. The first semester just has started. It's organized by the Ordina of Portugal. And they have a fantastic program for the, for the coming half year to show Portuguese psychology to all of us in Europe. And I would like to connect this idea, if you allow me, to the Casa de Psicologia here in Milano. I think it would be a fantastic uh, idea and even more a fantastic uh, realization if every house of psychology that is being created from here on would have at least one, I would say, window or one door dedicated to Europe. But it would even be better if in the house there would be one room that is called the European room. And this is the room where the connection with Europe is made and where people from other countries can also come and meet, etc. I hope that some of something of this idea uh, will find fertile soil in your Casa de Psicologia here in Milano. Congratulations.